Hey, Snigglers back again, once again, into the fray. What Linux for you? Now, last night we installed Bodhi Linux for you, 420, okay? Went nice and smoothly. Just a few minutes. So easy, wasn't it? Really, really easy. So now we're here with the install system. So, what do you want to do with it? What do you think of it? How do you work it? What is it? I've just come from Windows. I don't understand. Well, if you're from Windows, you may not understand Homebar, okay? Unless you're from Windows 10 or some of the other ones that this was totally a mashup. So here is your start menu, actually. So you can go from there, or you can left click any part of the desktop and you'll get the same menu, okay? Which makes it a lot easier for doing stuff. Now remember, Bodhi uses Enlightenment for its desktop and it's a specialized one called Moshka. Although if you want to change it for any other Enlightenment uh, theme or desktop or whatever, you can do. Just go to Enlightenment and you'll find loads that you may like. If you've seen any of my MacBook stuff, you will see how much there is. There's even animated wallpapers back in the day, like seven years ago, we were experimenting with them, even we had no RAM or CPU. They still worked. So yeah, back in the day. Anyway, back to today. I'm going to left click. Okay, under system, we get lock, log out, suspend, hibernate, reboot, and power off. Under settings. Okay. You get modes, so presentation mode, no, not really. You can add gadgets, so if I click on gadgets, there's none here at the moment, okay? But you can add any ones you want to, just go find them, okay? Close them for you. Close them. Bye. You get modules, there's other modules, you really need to go to Enlightenment stuff and see some other videos I've done to actually understand this or to show you what it is really because i'm trying to keep this one really really short really to be honest with you we don't want to go to 20 30 minutes because i'd get bored you'd get bored everybody starts watching you get your shelves and themes now i'm using one of the moshka ones here this is moshka green you can also go to moshka dark which is that one not much, much difference really is there at the end of the day no okay about the operating system we can kind of look at that if you want to you can reset moshka just a desktop of course Take a screenshot, the quick launcher, which basically is one of these. You just type in what you want and go there. Okay, simple as that. So if we go to graphics, go there. So I want to type in, ooh, GIMP. I'm not even sure if GIMP is installed. I don't think it's there. So hmm. you don't actually get too much. And this is the big one from um, Bodhi. So hey, now, do that again. Applications. This is probably what you'll be more familiar with, personally, in my opinion. So we get Wine. Wine is installed by default. And you're saying, why is Wine in default by default? Because he likes drinking wine, maybe. No, Wine is not an emulator. Remember, if you don't understand what I just said, go Google it. Under System Tools, we get the Bodhi App Center. Obviously, it says what it does in the name. You can get your apps that you want to install on it. Bodhi Builder, ePulse, which is for your sound, eSudo, System Settings, System Updater, and Terminology. Oh, I do love this terminal because it, you can do so much with it. You know what? I'm going to do another video on the terminology again. I haven't done it for ages and ages. I'm not even sure if I put it up on YouTube, actually. It might have been before I would actually join YouTube. But I put this up, so that's more than 10 years ago. Ooh, that's a fun to do, isn't it? Nice. Anyway, so on applications, Office, full LibreOffice suite. Now get the LibreOffice writer. Open it up for you. I'm not going to install anything just yet. That's pretty quick. I didn't even get to have a bit of a drink instead, did I? I'll have to put it back down again. Hmm. Hmm. Sort of apple y. Hmm. Very nice. Not alcoholic whatsoever. Anyway, patch applications. If I can do it properly. Graphics. Yeah. A photo document viewer. A document viewer. E photo. Image magic. A LibreOffice draw, which is part of the suite. And Pinter for drawing. Pinter, you're saying? Yeah, Pinter. It's been around for ages and ages. It's just a little drawing program. There's lots out there on the market, but this is the one that's actually installed. Remember, this download I got is the App Pack one, so it's a lot larger than the normal ones, okay? Anyway, Education, Quicklet and LibreOffice Math, Programming, so you get Elementary Test and Genie, Preferences, so you can do your stuff like your printers, Synaptic Page Manager, Printers. Network connections and elementary configuration. Okay, other accessories, elementary test, EPAD, and XF burn for burning your discs like CDs and DVDs. 
I mean, some cars still come with a CD reader so you can play your music. Mine still has one, actually, and it's only a couple of years old. But I don't actually use that much. I use the old Bluetooth from my uh, phone, to be honest with you. So, anyway, what was I going to show you? Oh, yeah, I know. We go down, 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 down system tools. The Bodhi Builder. Okay. Now, this needs my password. So, I'm going to put it in for you. I think that's the right one. It's necessary to close all the other windows and unmount any network shares while running Bodhi Backup. Basically, it's a backup tool, but you can remaster your own distro. So, say you get Bodhi and you put some apps on it and you think that's all somebody would need and this is how you do it. So you can just do a basic backup, make a distributable copy to friends to share on CDs and ISOs, make file system only, okay, if you only add files from the CD, make it a distributable ISO file only. The CD file system must have be completed already and remove too many files. Then you can do what picture you put on it, picture menu, who's it for and what theme, okay, under settings here. But yeah, yeah, won't worry about the red stuff. And that's what it will say when you use it. And output will be there. So we'll close that. That's one of the good things about Bodhi. It comes with it pre-installed. So you can actually make it for somebody else. So if somebody comes around your house and says, I really like that. I'll give that a go. Hmm, nice. Can, give, can I have one? And he says, yeah, I mean, I'll just burn you one off. Off you go. Go and try it on a live CD or USB stick. Okay. Right. Where was I? Okay. Yeah, well, there's one more thing I wanted to show you that you've probably seen before, and I don't need to do it again. So we go system tools. We'll go to the app center. Okay, this is the last one I'm going to do on this one here because most of you will know what to do. Okay, so what? That's a bit slow. See, we are, I had this the other night when um trying to install Bodhi, and some of the repos and stuff, or something is not working right network side. Okay, so if I want to get a chat client. Okay, so I'll click on chat clients. Hex chat is there and pigeon is there. And I want to install pigeon. Well, that looks alright, yeah. Should we get that a go? Hmm. Now you can do it this way, or you can go to Synaptic. But if you're a new user, this may be easier for you. So I'll just click here. I'm going to install pigeon. Once my password, of course. Off we go. Mm -mm -mm. Does what it has to do. Bear in mind, it uh, supports loads and loads of networks. Pigeon is probably oh, it's already installed. Okay, fair enough. Mm, did I see that? No, I didn't see it at all. I must be blind. So if I go down here, didn't really see that either. I took it to internet. Oh, Pigeon is already there anyway. Oh, well, no, no. Oh, we'll close that. Okay. Also, did you notice there? I'm going to go to applications and internet again. Steam is really there for you to install as well. And there's a transmission client here. So you want to do your stuff and download your stuff. What's it? Browse net. There it is for you. Right, Bodhi Linux, I've liked for a very, very long time, basically because it uses Enlightenment for its desktop. And I I, I really do in, like Enlightenment. I know, I know, it's terrible, isn't it? But if you want something different, this may be the one to go for. And if you get the base one, which is around about 800 meg for downloading, you can't go wrong and just add what you need. Desktop you need, whatever you want to. I like it. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you then. Bye.